Coach Massey here from Massey Machado Strength and Conditioning, and we're back with another installment of Move Your Feet. It's where we examine the concept of building your protocols and progression to lend to dynamic capacity, your ability to manage resistance and your anatomics in movement, in space, in other words, to utilize and move with resistance against resistance in game or life speed. In other words, moving and managing resistance really well. But first we're going to just go to a question that a viewer had sent in and we'll have to go back to an older video because he's actually asking a very intelligent question concerning that. He says, Coach Massey, I truly appreciated your video called Contact, Set, Go, utilizing the tsunami bar to set angles for the one-legged Romanian deadlift. As a result, I have two questions. One, is this a progression or regression of the movement? And two, do you also employ a two-legged version utilizing the tsunami bar? Thank you. James Heidelberg, Baden, Württemberg, Germany. I hope I said that correctly. In any event, we're going to have to reflect upon a video we did a few months back called Contact, Set, Go, where we utilized the amplitude found in the tsunami bar to help us with that tricky one-legged Romanian deadlift getting the angles and hinges set correctly to lend to efficacy in the movement. So I'm going to call Maddie in to give us a hand here to demonstrate what we looked at a few months prior. So Maddie's going to roll this tsunami bar over here onto the rubber. And Maddie has traditionally had a little difficulty with getting set up on this movement, but he's working on it. So we're going to take a look at this. This is a tsunami bar. This is a tsunami light bar. And it's supposed to only take 25 pounds per side, but to utilize it for this setup, we over actually overloaded it a little bit. So as what you see Matt will do is he'll step up to that bar, try to split the bar, and his contact will come after he gets his feet set. So contact is on the bar, set, he's going to pull the amplitude, flatten the back, and then go is going to be that pull. Now he's center control back down, boom, nice. And let's do it again. Get your hands off the bar first. He's going to set up, he's going to get his base, he's going to make sure he's split on that bar, he's going to go down, he's going to contact, pull the amplitude to set, and he's going to go pull through, good, he's central control back down. So that's what the contact set go looked like. And that question, James, was, was it a progression or regression of the one-legged Romanian deadlift? The answer really is, for us anyway, it's a really awesome biomechanical prep. It preps the movement. I love it for that. We can even just go with the contact set and hold the athlete or client at set like we held Maddie to make sure we have all the hinges and levers, all the lines and angles down pat, really nice, clean, and ready to go. So my answer would be, part of it could be a regression, part of it could be a biomechanical prep, a movement prep, and obviously if you move it quicker, if you start to progress the movement and resistance, then obviously it could be a progression. So thanks for that. Now also, do you employ a two-legged version utilizing the tsunami bar? So that would be a bilateral version of that type of stiff-legged deadlift, deadlift movement. 20 degrees flexion is what we're looking for. And Maddie's going to demonstrate, first and foremost, just let's do like a speed lift with this stiff-legged version. So he's still going to address the bar. He's going to go down. He's going to establish good contact. His chin's going to stay flat. He's going to look down, now he's going to pull that thing, go, he's pulling, giving speed, he's going to finish a little more with his hips, he's going to hit those glutes up top, and he's going to stop and relax. So you can pull the tsunami bar for this movement a lot quicker than you probably should pull the conventional barbell. You could, um, but I don't recommend it. So it's also really nice because there's biomechanical reactivity and there's that oscillation and amplitude in the tsunami bar to really challenge you to maintain your spatial orientation, your proprioception, and just pound the biomechanics of positive slot into that movement. Now, Maddie's going to simply take that movement, slow her down, slow her down, and he's going to pull, step forward, he's going to pull, Regress, he's going to progress, he's going to regress the movement, he's going to step laterally, then we're going to have a little fun with it. So go ahead, Maddie. Flatten the chin, he pulls, step, step, down, pulls, back, down, pull, lateral, watches that base, comes up, and watches that base. Now he sits down, good. Put her down. 
So one of the things you're going to see immediately is, now Matty has some experience with this movement. You'll see that your athlete or your client may be having a very challenging time in keeping their base athletic or that power pillar. You'll see them tripping over their own two feet. Nothing positive happens here at zero. So it's going to be another way to build that base to teach uh, that dynamic capacity concept that when you're moving and you're managing resistance at game speed or life speed that you need to maintain footing underneath you which also helps reduce the incidence of injuries. Now, it, with some of our jumpers they love this movement because we also start to link it together with force translation and how we go from the lower position in a deadlift and we jump right through it. So Matt is going to give you a little shot at that. That's the simplest terms on it. So he's going to flatten everything out first. He's going to show me a flat chin. He's going to pull and jump right through. Go, pop, and rest. So you see he's got his extension. He's driving down into the ground. He's exchanging that push-pull, and he's going right through and linking up that jump. And we also have some progressions we call force jump. Look, you can utilize a lot of different equipment to do a lot of different movements and strength and conditioning, athletic development, client development. It just happens that we utilize the tsunami bar a lot because it can be forgiving, but also it helps to really build proper biomechanics. Look, I would love to see you guys come out to my one day. I'm going to be having a one day seminar at the Performance Institute up at uh, Perform Better. It's going to be developing the modern athlete and client. We're planning on doing it sometime in 2019. I'll continue to bring these videos. I'd love for you guys to email me some questions. Give me a call, we'll chat on the phone. And in the meantime, Coach Massey here, Massey Machado Strength and Conditioning. We'll be back next time with another episode. Thanks for joining me.